this is quite a switch from the 60 plus 90 degree weather patterns that we've been having this summer which is hot dry and this is the first time in a while that we've had a lot of rain I mean we had rain a little bit last week but we're supposed to get it today they say it's supposed to rain in 10 minutes according to Amazon Echo slash Alexa um, yeah right do you see it raining no but either way I like this much needed cool weather. It feels like uh, fall or the early remnants of fall, but it also feels like weather that you would find up in the uh, Northwest, like say in uh, the Seattle area. But either way, this is good sleeping weather and this is good weather for a good old pumpkin spice uh, latte or a pumpkin spice coffee. I don't know if Starbucks has put it out yet, but I know that people are getting pumpkin spice products ready and I know I'm ready for it. Um, so anyway, I wanted to let you know that uh, today I am headed over to campus to get some studying done because I have three classes I'm taking this semester and I'm going to be busier than ever. However, I still want you guys to see what my life is like and so that's why I bought this camera and I, I'm going to take this on the road in addition as I said, I could download the software on my laptop and it has a login and password. So the content that is on my current laptop in here will most likely or most definitely be on my new laptop as well. And so I'm very happy about that. Uh, I'm happy because uh, while I'm studying, I can take a little break and then put my headphones in and edit away when I want to break from my studies. So. Anyway, while it's uh, fall here in Atlanta, I want to continue to show you my fun videos from uh, the summer. So roll it. Hi YouTube, Maya Ryan here and oh, I just stepped on this thing. Um, ouch, I just, I just stepped on something really sharp, but I got the wire for my uh, thermostat, so now I can put it up, and I'm very excited. I'm just about to uh, shut everything off on the breakers except for the lights. Uh, I'm opening up some windows so I can get this baby installed. However, uh, I don't have a lot of juice, and I don't have a uh, phone charger, which is sad because I would have liked to have put this baby in but um, I will show you really quick uh, what comes with the nest so this is the faceplate uh, this is what you normally see to control the temperature uh, this is uh, the remote which the wires will go into uh, these are uh, the screws. I'm going to uh, whip out my hammer later. And then here's the screwdriver. And first step I'm going to do is again take this ugly thermostat off the wall. So um, if you'll bear with me. So um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, but this is what I have. Uh, it's, I've had this for almost 10 years and I think it's time for a change and it'd be nice to save some money and uh, being that the batteries hang out again it's just ugly it just has to go I'm sorry I'm going to run the app and then I'm going to power everything up. So. Well, guess what, YouTube? Um, I have the nest. It just turned out that uh, this was a piece of crap. So um, I'm waiting for somebody to come out and do a house call. What I really need is a common wire. Otherwise, this thing works like a charm. And uh, <laughs> My AC just turned on, so. 
Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know that I'm about to wrap up and the story has a happy ending and I am super excited that uh, my nest did work after all. It was just the faceplate wasn't charged. The main problem was uh, I needed an extra common wire to turn the thermostat on. That said, uh, since that was a piece of junk uh, and I'm waiting for the tech guy to come out, in the meantime, I have to charge this until he gets here. Either way, I have uh, my fan going for about an hour and uh, I have uh, my thermostat on and I'm really happy about that. And so, uh, the only thing is I cannot uh, cook up to my Wi-Fi yet and get on to the mobile app until this faceplate is properly charged. But either way, I know it works like a charm. And my fan is working right now. It's cool in the house. In the meantime, this is what my other thermostat looked like. It was a piece of junk. I mean, it... Uh, got me through a decade, and it was nice when it uh, was first put in, but after a while, it just got worn. Uh, the batteries uh, started to, to fall out, and the little trap door in the front started to reveal them, and it was just a freaking nightmare. So, uh, I decided to look at the nest after that, which began in 2016, right around this time of the year. And that was after uh, the batteries were uh, starting to fall out of here. And it said that it was still 78, and then I checked the temperature on other sources, and it said that it was a lot hotter, so I had to fix that, which led me to start looking into the nest, because I was always curious what they look like. So. I did a lot of research and I liked what I saw. So I now have a learning thermostat and I'm still wanting to get hooked up to Wi-Fi. But one thing I found out about it is uh, you don't need to be hooked up to Wi-Fi to run a thermostat. And I've learned that now because um, my thing is purring like a kitten out there and it feels great. So.